An old theater in Denver's Berkeley neighborhood is trying to bring entertainment back to a once thriving space. But some neighbors who live nearby, they don't want the theater to be allowed to sell alcohol. Denver 7's Jessica Porter explains. My house is 104 years old. I love the architecture, the little cottages. I love the big tree-lined streets. Deborah Tropman has lived in the Berkeley neighborhood 28 years. She's pleased to see the old theater is being renovated, but isn't thrilled about the possibility of loud dance parties. There's going to be hundreds and hundreds of cars parked on 44th. Um, we're concerned about the neighborhood safety with people walking, pedestrian traffic. She's part of a group trying to keep the theater from getting a liquor license. The theater's owner, Ari Stutz, told us the renovations can't happen without the license. I mean, this is going to be probably a, a million and a half to two million dollar investment, but we wouldn't build it out without the ability to be able to run this business there, which is pretty predicated on this liquor and cabaret license. Stutz has plans for a music venue and bar that will also be used for weddings and comedy events. To ease community concerns, Stutz has agreed to limit the theater's hours, provide security, and take steps to keep things quiet during events. This is an old building and, and turning it back into, into what it was. I love my neighborhood and I want to preserve it. Tonight, dozens of homeowners and businesses showed up to a meeting about the liquor license. 291 people signed a petition opposing it. 311 businesses and residents support it. It could take weeks for the city to make a decision about the liquor license, and it could ultimately decide the future of the theater. Jessica Porter, Denver 7.